Hello, you have reached Merlin's People Like Me. Please leave your message for Merlin. This is Michael McQuarrie with a message for Merlin. You know, during these past 12 months have been absolutely insane, horrific, fantastic, awful, the most self-absorbing brilliance if you make it that way. Now, I was the guy in New York that was the nightlife, the matinee idol, Trocadero, the Bonsoir, all these, but 88s, I was the matinee idol, all this stuff, it was a lot of fun. Also did some art stuff, and I ran into Prince and we did this little drawing and he liked whatever, who knows, whatever. But I was the guy at Soho Grand with Joey Arias and Suzanne Barsh, you know, movies were movies when you paid a dime to escape. But in the meantime, being in here, well, what are you gonna do? Merlin, I'm gonna tell you. And everyone out there, oh, you lovely people out there in the dark. So what I do is these little art pieces and perform and do stuff. But since I couldn't be in people's faces, I decided to be a better me inside my me place. Like you must go in your place. For instance, here we go. So I would do these artworks called Your Essence in Seconds. Hashtag Your Essence in Seconds. So here we go for fun. So what I would do is online is I would contact people that used to see me out in Kansas City doing these things at these swanky soirees and being fun. But instead I was better and just did it online. So you just must do the same thing, whatever you do, or just find your, your you and whatever it is. So for instance, you know, I'm this Dolly Picasso of Kansas City. Ta-da! Hi, this is Bobby Miller, and this is a message from Merlin. I'm just here in my new home in the Berkshire Mountains, and it's been a wonderful retreat from uh, the trauma of this pandemic that we're all gone through. I have just put my nose to the grindstone and decided to keep working and making art and getting ready for a big photo exhibit in Hudson, New York this coming June. Interesting how when you move someplace that's isolated away from a lot of people, it's easy to forget what's going on around us. Uh, but I'm fully aware of it. I just don't have a big reaction about it. And I think that it's great that people are cooperating and socially distancing, uh, getting their vaccines, wearing masks. I think it's a great time in our life. This is an opportunity for us to learn how to accommodate the world and what comes in time. Yes, I've been cooking. I've been making, uh, uh, taking the challenge of trying to cook something different every single day, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. When you don't eat uh, meat or beef or pork or things like that, you begin to become creative. Um, not traveling uh, at best, uh, driving maybe half an hour away uh, for a drive in the mountains. Let's see, maybe I can give you a view of what it looks like where I am. And this is the world that I live in. And I haven't been craving an audience. I've been kind of enjoying uh, not seeing a lot of people. I do miss dining out. I love eating and I love uh, new foods and I love sharing that with friends. So uh, wherever you are, I hope you're well and happy and enjoying yourself and taking care of yourself and uh, being supportive and kind to others. Thank you. Hi, my name is Al Rosenberg and I have a message from Merlin. I hope this is an acceptable angle. Um, I don't know how better to do it. Like I said, my name is Al. I play in a couple of New York City based bands such as Cop Out and Trashy. Um, I also am a co-organizer for Punk Island New York City and Brooklyn Transcore. Um, I'm really looking forward Hopefully this coming year to get back to rehearsing and playing shows and going to shows and supporting the scene. Prior to the pandemic, I already liked to cook and I already didn't love the company of other people. So not a whole lot has changed for me in my personal life, except for um, I've also not had to go to work this year. So that's been pretty great. I'm not looking forward to finding a new job that will let me for however long to go on tour, but that's a problem for future Al. So we will visit that then. I will say that I did think going into quarantine that I was gonna get a lot of stuff done. I was gonna practice every day. I was gonna really work on my guitar chops. I was gonna do a lot of writing. I didn't really do um, almost any of that, but I did build a guitar from a DIY guitar kit, which I had been wanting to do for years and years and never had the time or the 
motivation to do it but you know you sit around long enough you find the motivation to do something it's not practice i guess because i haven't done that but um building guitar i've also been working on my luthier skills so that mostly means that i've been ruining my other guitars and then slightly unruining them because uh i like I re i'll read the directions or i'll watch the video but then i'll do it how i think it should be done and it turns out that how i think it should be done is almost usually the wrong way I'm also really looking forward to uh, paying someone else to make me a margarita because as it turns out, I am uh, not good at making them and they are just not the same when they come from my kitchen as they are when they come from the kitchen of a professional. And that's uh, one, of the, one of the big three. So um, I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and see y'all in the pit. Oh, and Merlin, always remember, and everyone else, you gotta sign your work these days for your self-worth too. And, oh, forgive me, one other thing. I'm always good at the one other thing. Please wear your mask these days because even though we're all getting vaxxed up, that means you, still wear your mask because you know what? It's the other people and we've gotta be nice to aunt and uncle and grandma, etc. And thank you very much for spending a little time with mine. Now go be a better you. You can do it, see what I mean? Hi, this is Marlon. Did I get any messages?